podcast, but we got water and lots of it. So we're trying to get our dewatering done here. They're getting concrete in there, getting it set. So. So the spec calls for it to have a foot of concrete in the bottom of each hole. All, I can't remember how many, 50 or 60 holes. You look pretty. Thanks. Day two. <clears throat> Everybody just rolled in a little bit ago here, about seven, no, like 6.40 in the morning. Guys are having a powwow there. And I was here till pretty late last night, cleaning up all the spoils, all the cuttings or whatever you want to call it for, for the building here, moving it into that area there. And uh, we've just got some debris in there. But yeah, so. All looking real nice here, but we got—I got all at least most of the dirt out of here, make it a little easier and more pleasant to work. And uh, all these holes are six foot on center, and we had a lot of water in some of the holes. But um, the thing about that is, concrete will still cure underwater, so. <clears throat> that's uh okay it wasn't my favorite thing to do it that way but again based on the reading i was doing water or water curing concrete they say at least on one article i read it's like gonna be up to 50 percent uh, stronger so yeah this view here today this is the last time there won't be vertical there won't be verticals. Uh, the posts are going to be in the ground. And uh, that's going to be pretty darn wild. I was here all day yesterday. I won't be here much today. I've got a lot of office stuff that needs done. And uh, I'm just in the way anyhow. So um, the kids built out of their, their blocking, their 2 by 8 blocking. Kids build a little community here. <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable i love it so okay well we'll be back later today and and uh i'm not sure how much this they'll have up but also too just to show you they're using um these laminated they call them ply but um i think they call these three ply but three these are two by eights um but these are uh two by eights lam probably glued together maybe screwed and nailed but there you actually get a lot of strength and rigidity out of that ply concept and another aspect of that too is according to my pole barn builder and other people they say that the treatment because when they pressure treat these things you get more penetration of in each one of these two by two by eights here but you get more penetration of uh, preservative than if it were just a regular old four by six or four by eight so that's uh that's pretty cool well the boss is calling in here so we're gonna talk to them brett hey look at this two <laughs> Warp, warping where are we at we are uh in the almond part of the shop right now oh barely here it is folks she's a going up how cool is this this is pretty awesome so awesome so many things to talk about here. Um, concrete in the holes, as you know and saw. So we, we painted out 70 by one, 70 by 120. We've we've painted out here in the 30 foot section. It's going to be offices, podcast room, media room, uh, conference room. Our office is there in a the corner. Um, 
a couple things we noticed real fast is we need to reconfigure the floor in here because it's not on paper it's not the size you think it is in real life just doesn't feel as big um so we're gonna we gotta build we gotta make the do not paint we gotta make the uh break room bigger it's way too small uh all that so anyways a few things here real quick and this is subject to a lot of discussion i know but whatever it is so they're using two by eight laminated or two by eight ply they call it um two by eight three ply i think they call it but it's two i'm sorry it's three two by eights laminated together glued stapled too i don't know but then they transfer into non-pressure treated on the way up those three pieces of wood um laminated together very strong very strong and then on top of that you get the pressure treated below but the benefit you get with the pressure treated portion of this is that as opposed to if it were a, a four by eight when they pressure treat it you only get certain penetration in all the way around well with each of those being one little board you get more penetration in each one of them and probably you know clear through uh you know penetration of uh water waterproofer so that's that's a really nice added benefit of doing those plies so they're really strong and they are uh very waterproof so so um what what we were backfilling i say we but the crew building this thing backfilling with combination of things we talked about a few options this morning and what we, what we more or less talked about was originally in the plants backfilling all with 57 limestone clean stone because it locks in place. I've built several structures this way now, 30 by 30 buildings, biggest I've ever built. But you put that right in your hole on top of these posts, but you get really good interlock. Uh, that way you can see a little bit of wiggle there, but the more you move this stuff, the more it locks in place. It's really cool. They choked it down, looks like with some, uh, some of that dense graded recycled uh, concrete, number 411. And even with some twos in there to really get it to lock in together. So my holes down on the end, it had a lot more water in it. I wanted to use a lot more of that dense graded material to hopefully not allow water to go to it or sit in it like we would with these holes with 57 so that's a whole nother conversation we'll probably talk about that in the kid contractor podcast you might check that out but ultimately it's looking really good coming a long ways we'll run up the hill here real quick and uh give you an overview and voila isn't that cool so that is the facility this spoils pile will leave eventually we'll have our bins over here for bulk storage we own to the yellow fence and then some, and about to the bean field there you see now, and that's it. Too much panning, sorry, everybody gets dizzy. Three acres, commercially zoned in beautiful Fairfield County, Ohio. We are right on the outskirts of town, as you can tell, but uh, there we go. It's really coming along nicely. We're very, very pleased. All glory to God, of course, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're working on figuring out how to, to best grab that truss so it doesn't snap or taco on them. Those guys are waiting on that first one to come around. They're going to fasten that sucker in there. This is a wild day. This is cool. Our uh, crane guy, Mark Anthony, out of Logan, Ohio. You, you can see the bend it's got in it because they're so long. Those 70-footers are serious business so you got to be careful with them it's a big day huh ziggy yep i'm gonna fuel up our skid steer here a fuel cell like this super convenient to have also really expensive to fuel up these days five dollar diesel but i'm uh i'm crying to the choir i suppose in that regard there we have it folks First truss going up, 70 foot scissor there. And I've uh, got our spreader bar on it there. And uh, we're gonna bring her around. Hot dog, that's wild. Here we go, folks.
Now for those of you asking, I'm going to ask, each truss is going to be butted to a to uh, the posts, so the header doesn't need to be as aggressive. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not building it myself. <laughs> And then I eventually started making content and I created a YouTube channel and just wanted to be a part of everything. And I also wanted to share my like rookie mistakes because I was just learning. These guys were already a little bit more experienced. They had a couple of years or in some cases like Geek to Free, Craig Chisholm, he had been doing it his whole life. So uh, the lawn care millionaire built a multi-million dollar lawn care business, you know, so there's all these experienced people at the time that were sharing information. I, and I'm just trying to like, you know, like figure out the basics, you know, like uh, trimming bushes and pricing them properly and all this kind of stuff, how to prune crepe myrtles properly and learned about crepe murder and what that is and not to do it and how to mulch and not volcano mulch and choke out bottoms of trees and all these things I was learning from day one and didn't even know that existed, you know, and, and these guys are talking about all these advanced principles.